Hey, so Mason told a war story there a little while ago, so I figured I'd tell one of mine. Uh, back from when I was in North Carolina with uh, the guys from Virginia Tech uh, with our airsoft club up there. We went out to uh, Fall the Gap, which is a big game that they have out every year um, at CDWC. And uh, it was our first year going out, and it was me and a buddy of mine, Drew. He has his uh, he has his VFC 416, one of the Gen 1s, and I had my KWA uh, KM4 Riz. And uh, we were on one side of a firebase, um, and I was facing into the woods. And all of a sudden, like one of the tanks that uh, these people had made and brought up uh, for this game just starts rolling up. And this thing's called the Beast, and it's got like teeth painted on it and everything. Uh, it looks like a warthog, but in a tank version. Um, and it just comes rolling up, and everybody starts freaking out. We all start like running away out of the base because we can't even take this thing out. We don't have any rocketeers or anything. And we make it to the other side of the fire base, just outside of it. We're on the other side of a berm. And uh, the tank gets taken out by one of our tanks. And as soon as that tank gets hit, like 50 some guys from the green team, which is opposing us, start just bursting out of the woods. And it's only me and Drew and then like some further guys down the line on this side of the berm. And we just like look up, Drew pops in a high cap, I pop in like a really high capacity mid, and we just start hosing these guys in this like huge like wave of 50 some guys, just all just like hit it, hit it, hit it, and just like start walking off as we just cleared this entire wave of people. We're just like knuckle bummer, like yeah! And then like I think I got hit and Drew was like, no! <laughs> uh, that's like uh, at Exit on Sunday when we started that game and the opposing, we could see the opposing team as we started out. And they're just coming out of this like fatal funnel and ah. we'll just bum rush them and just start <laughs> lighting them up them. as they're like trying to get out of their spawn. See, I didn't even shoot the whole time. I was like, I'll let the guys with high caps do and this. And they're divided. <laughs> There's like the, the paintball netting between us and them and they're all like hiding back behind the paintball netting so we can't shoot them. So Zach runs up, pulls out a pea grenade, lights it, just goes, Alley -oop, and it <laughs> lands right at their feet and they all just like scatter. I think the grenade got a couple of them, but they were running away. That was pretty hilarious. Grenades are awesome in airsoft. People don't understand how cool those things are. I just wish there were better options than tornado grenades. Like they're great, but I hate like throwing something that isn't just gonna be cheap. Yeah. It's like, ah, I'm throwing a hundred bucks! Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. great for indoor, but once you lose it outdoor, that's, that's kind of the end of it. and makeshift uh, pyrotechnics are the way to go because they're so fun. You just use all your old BBs and throw those all together. Or popcorn. Put or popcorn. popcorn. Yeah. See, dried peas. That's why pea grenades work so well. Yeah. 